Hello everyone, welcome to my guide on how to calibrate flow timer for use in Mad Dummy Skip and Undertale speedrunning. The resources you will need are flow timer and Ocean Bagel's mass practice tool. Links to both can be found in the description of this video. First of all, there's a question that arises with this. Why do I need to calibrate this myself? Can't I just use the same settings that you use? Or why isn't it just already pre-calibrated? Well, there's a problem that arises with this. Everyone has a different amount of audio delay that is unique to them. Some factors that would affect this are, most importantly, your headphone and audio setup, but also the travel time on your keyboard and the slight delay on your monitor may have some effect. While these delays are generally marginal, they would need to be taken into account. To start, open Flow Timer in the MASH Practice tool. You'll want to have the timer set to start on either Z or Enter. I personally use Z, so that will be what is used in this video. In this video, we will calibrate Flow Timer for use in the newly discovered fastest setup for Mad Dummy Skip. This setup has a true delay of 1 second. Set the offset on your Flow Timer to 1000 milliseconds. And select a beep interval and number of beeps that works well for you. This may take a few tries to figure out, but personally I use it 166 milliseconds for interval and 5 beeps. Now it's time to calibrate Flow Timer. With Flow Timer up, start recording on the MASH practice tool by pressing R. And then press Z to start the Flow Timer, and then press Z again in time with the last beep, like this. Now, that will cause it to go off a second time, but that's okay. That will be similar to how it is in the actual Mad Dummy skip. Now find, press space twice, and see what time the second Z input went down. You'll want to write that down. 1.124 was what it was for me. I'm going to repeat this step a few times. One point one five two. One point zero nine five. One point zero seven one. One point zero eight one. So I'm going to actually ignore these first two ones because. Sometimes you do want to ignore the first couple ones you do because they are before you kind of get used to what it feels like. So just looking at these last three, they seem to average at around 1.080, roughly. Now this isn't going to be exactly right because it is a limited number of trials, but since it averages around 80 milliseconds late, what I'm going to do is take the offset and subtract the 80 milliseconds, so that would end up being 920. So now we're going to do it again, hit record, and you can see this time I had down at 1.006, so I'm going to put a little break here, 0 0.994, and we'll do two more. 1.058, 1 1.0, or 0.967. So as we can see, that calibration worked pretty well. I had three that were almost exactly on, and then one that was high and one that was low. But overall, I'm hitting in the center at about 1.00, which is the ideal time. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video was able to help you. If you have any remaining questions, you can ask them in the Undertale Speedrunning Discord, which will be linked in the description of this video.